right so four assignments of prayer very quickly number one the first assignment of prayer which is a most superior assignment of prayer is for your growth and transformation most believers do not understand this aspect of prayer it is the reason why our prayer lives are stunted in many ways because the most superior assignment of prayer is not just for needs and petitions it's a system that was designed for our growth and our transformation luke 9 29 the bible says as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment became white and glistening. When we pray, we evolve. When we pray, we become. When we pray, there is a transition that happens to us in the spirit that a weak you can become a strong you. Are we together? A fearful you can become a bold you. There is an exchange that happens in the place of prayer. And most people have not understood this dimension of prayer number two the second assignment of prayer according to scripture is to make requests and obtain promises we considered a bit of that in passing yesterday prayer is a platform to make requests and to obtain promises hallelujah the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 we read that I just quoted that not too long. He says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, that platform of prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. He says, let your requests be made known. Don't assume they are made known. Let your request be made known. Hallelujah. Number three, the third assignment of prayer according to scripture is for decrees and establishing spiritual realities. We use prayer as a platform to make decrees, to create possibilities, to establish spiritual realities. Are we still together? Job chapter 22 and verse 28, it says, And thou shalt decree, not assume, not wish, thou shalt decree a thing. And the thing that you decree, not the thing that you want or wish, shall be established unto thee. Thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. The fourth assignment of prayer according to scripture is for warfare and intercession. This is a dimension of prayer. Warfare and intercession. This is very important. The Bible already told us in John chapter 10 and verse 10 that Satan is called the thief. And that he comes with the singular goal of stealing, killing and destruction. Apostle Peter charged us in 1 Peter 5 and verse 8 to be sober and to be vigilant. He says, for your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. And then, of course, Ezekiel chapter 22, I believe verse 30, he says, and I sought for a man. I like that scripture among them that he should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it but I found none so prayer becomes a prophetic platform for warfare what is warfare engaging through the understanding of scripture and establishing the victory that is in Christ you see that now over the situations that attempt to fight and plague your authority in Christ 